first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so friends in this video that is on the topic trigonometry so on lesson number 5 we will be solving a question that is on model number 4 so here is the last model of this concept because we have seen already two model based upon this chart so model number 2 that is sine of some number but it is in the term of positive so in the previous model that is model number 3 we have solved a question similar like model number 2 but in model number 3 we will have a negative symbol so here is the question example question i have taken on model number 4 where the question you can able to see a pi will be there right so minus of 4 pi by 3 so now in this video we will be learning how to solve these kind of question which contains pi so friends before watching this video do not forget to watch my series trigonometry series from lesson number 1 so lesson number 1 introduction lesson number 2 trigonometrical identities basic table what is sin 30 sin 45 we have learned the trigonometrical ratio that is the basics of trigonometry do not forget to watch the lesson number 2 and then lesson number 3 we have learned model number 2 previous lesson it's model number 3 so and in this lesson we will be solving a question on model number 4 right so only if you uh, learn step by step you can able to solve all kind of question in the trigonometry topic right so here sorry so here in this model number 4 what kind of question we are going to solve is where the question that contains pi just just listen carefully friends so when you take a measurement topic right when you take a measurement topic like cylinder or cone measurements right so two dimensional shape three dimensional shape in those cases if you find pi in the question or in the formula we apply 22 by 7 or 3.14 but when you take a trigonometry topic the same pi should be taken as 180 degree right that's the difference between measurement and trigonometry so in measurement we take the pi value as 22 by 7 or 3.14 but here in the topic trigonometry not only in this model number 4 wherever you find pi in trigonometry you should consider that pi as 180 degree so this pi should be taken as 180 degree and most most importantly if you see a pi most of the students learn this chart in another way right considering this as pi this will be pi by 2 because pi is 180 right 180 by 2 will be 90 so they will change 90 degree as pi by 2 don't learn any new things why because only for the schooling right in if you, if you take a school books you have to change and you have to learn all the new formulas so you should not uh, change pi as 180 degree in the school time you have to keep the pi as it is and you have to solve the question but now we are preparing for a competitive exam is yes? right we are steps does not carry marks our target is to get a final answer so we don't want to learn any new concept here already we have learned the chart only one thing what you need to do here is instead of learning a new formula and wasting your time just a simple step convert this right so cot of minus 4 into 180 divided by 3 so friends understood or not right we can pi write as 180 so cancel it 60 so now cot of minus 4 into 60 so this will be cot of minus 240 degree that's it now the pi question right the question which contains pi we have converted into a normal thing so now cot of minus 240 what we learned in model number 3 Yes or no, right? So model number three, what is the first step? So we write cot of zero degree minus two forty degree. So zero minus two forty will comes on the fourth quadrant. If it is a fourth quadrant, cot will be negative. So cot of two forty degree. So now minus of this can be written as cot of two seventy degree minus thirty degree, right? So minus of two seventy minus thirty. So 270 minus 30 will be the third quadrant. In a third quadrant, cot will be positive. So cot 270 you have to change. So cot should be changed as tan 30 degree. So tan 30 degree will be 1 by root 3. Already we have negative symbol. So answer for this question will be 1 minus 1 by root 3. I solved this fastly. Why? Because after this step. this complete step what we learned on model number 3 so friends yes or no right so only in model number 4 what you need to do is you have to change the pi into 180 and then simplify the given question after that 
after simplifying after some steps you will get definitely you will get a value in terms of model number one or model number two or model number three sometimes the value can be positive or sometimes the value can be negative if it is a positive we have learned on model number two if it is negative we have learned on model number three that's it so that's the reason in model number two and model number three i have thought this chart so other than this kindly do not learn any new new techniques here or new formulas in trigonometry why because learning a formula is not at all easy right for every student learning a mathematical formula will be a headache right definitely it will be a great headache because if you take trigonometry 50 or 60 formulas properties are there if you learn all the 60 properties and go to the exams right, it is not easy to get that formula at the time of exam right so that's the reason i am saying learn limited formulas and try to apply that formula to all the questions. That's the reason I didn't teach you the pi here. And most of the students in the second model itself, they taught me to teach me pi. So the main reason for not teaching the pi is that is not needed. Why? Because pi, we can directly consider it as 180. And you can solve the question. You can better simplify it. And then we got the question in terms of model number 3. And then we solve the complete question what we learned on model number 3. So that's the reason I didn't teach you that uh, pi, the same chart, some students will write it in a pi term, right? So this will be, they will write this as pi, pi by 2. So this will be uh, 2 pi by C, 3 something. So that is not required here, right? So uh, that's it, friends. I will solve another one more question so that you will you can able to understand how the model number 4 question looks like. And I will give you one Omer question also. So here is the another example question on model 4. So cos of minus 11 pi by 6 is equal to question mark. So by seeing the question itself, you can decide that this question is from model number 4. Why? Because which contains pi here. So what is the first step you need to do is, so convert this pi into 180 degree, right? So this can be written as cos of minus 11 into 180 degree divided by 6 is equals to question mark. So this can be cancelled 3 times 30 degree. So this will be cos of minus 330 degree. So now we converted the fourth model question into third model. Yes or no, right? So the same thing what we learned on the third model, apply here to get the answer. Now it is easy or not? So now this can be written as cos of 0 degree minus 330 degree is equals to question mark. So cos 0 minus 0 minus which lies on the fourth quadrant. In the fourth quadrant, cos will be positive. So positive cos of 330 degree. So now this can be written as cos of 360 degree minus 30 degree. Right, so 360 minus again 360 minus will be on the fourth quadrant. If it is a fourth quadrant, cos will be positive. So again 360, no change. So cos of 30 degree. So cos 30 degree will be root 3 by 2. That's it. So answer for this question will be root 3 by 2. So now I hope you understood what is called as model number 4 and how to solve a question. Right? I don't want to solve much here. Why? Because I hope you understood. right? So what is the difference between model 2, model 3 and model 4? So if you see a question that is based on model number 3, only thing, first thing itself, you have to convert into 0 minus. That's the thing what we learned on model number 3. So in model number 4, initially convert the pi into 180 and then you, 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 will, you have to simplify the given question. After simplifying some part, right? so you will get a question similar to model number 3. So and then you solve a question, you will surely get the answer. right? So I will give you one question as a Omer question. Just a minute. Yes, I will give you this as a Omer question. So sine of minus 7 pi by 4. So try to solve this question, right? And check whether you are getting the answer or not. So in model number 4th model uh, type question, right? So answer will be 1 by root 2. Yes. So sine of minus 7 pi by 4. Yes, try to solve the question. I hope definitely you will get the answer. So now that's it. So three model we have solved that is based upon this chart. So after watching all the five videos, right, starting from one and this, this will be the fifth video. So what we have learned, two important things. One is a table chart, right, trigonometrical identities. So we have learned one root three, two by root three, all those stuff we have learned in lesson number two. And then three, four, five. All the three lesson we have learned this chart, right. So by using the chart, we have solved all the question, this chart based on 345. So now the upcoming lesson, lesson number 6, 
seven, eight. We are not at all going to learn any new new formulas or nothing like that, right? What we are going to do is the thing what we already learned in all the previous lesson. We will be applying it on a question and then we will be solving it the question easily, right? So now after uh, lesson number five, I told you I will be giving a test. So within two days, I will upload the test on my test series on quantitative aptitude. So after uploading, I will be notifying in the mobile application. So do not forget to take the test at that time. So friends, thank you so much for watching this video. If you really like it, share the video to your friends, those who are preparing for the competitive exams. So thank you so much. Bye.